Okay, we're drinking Mickey's. <laughs> Maria Devon, the girl next door, Utopia Jane, wanted us to make some videos down here in New Orleans. So here I am with Zone One, John Sharon. Maria, how you doing? And uh, we're drinking Mickey's, introduced in 1962, I believe, right? Yep. We bought this. How much did these cost? Two fifty-four for two. Okay, so it wasn't too much. No. Dollar twenty-five a piece, I guess. Yeah, dollar twenty-five a piece. And uh, your wife goes on video. No. She said no. <laughs> okay. She works for the CIA. What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, so here we are uh, in New Orleans on. Uh, Iberville Street, and uh, we didn't know what to drink, so I figured we'd go back to that place last year where the crazy guy was threatening to stab everybody. Yeah, that was scary. <laughs> and uh, we buy the Mickey's. I mean, we've done Mickey. We beat Mickey's to death. I mean, we've done enough videos on yeah. it. But I mean, you think it's all right beer for like hanging out in the French Quarter? Oh yeah, definitely a French Quarter beer. It's definitely a for the price point. You know, you're not getting any better than that. Now you can go down to that store we were in and they had a pretty huge craft beer section. Yeah. But then you walk around here and you're going to mainly see people drinking Bud Light and Miller Light, right? And I've noticed a lot of people drinking Full Loco. Yeah, godly amounts of Full Loco. You have seen people drinking yeah. Full Loco? Yeah. And they had the, the mysterious Four Loco Gold. Yes. Yeah. 14%. Yeah. And most people's having the, uh, the what, strawberry? Yeah, or watermelon, I guess. Yeah, watermelon, yeah. And um, this beer here is not obviously too complex. Okay. It's a little chilly so to today. Yeah. It's strange. It's probably all about 70 degrees, but it's a little yeah. chilly in the air and dampness. Uh, but you notice, to me, if you take a sip, it has like a little, you can pick up a little hop note at the end. Yeah. Yes. Fine malt. It's, it's like a, a little better than your average malt liquor, I think. Oh, I agree, yeah. But it's only 5.6% alcohol, so it just barely rates as a malt liquor. I'm still, uh, probably still my favorite, St. Ives. St. Ives, no longer sold in Louisiana. Yeah. And the one they used to have was the 6%. Yeah, that's all I want to get. And then, and then yeah, the 8% came in, and then we never saw it again. So. All right, well, Maria, we're going to probably make some more videos. And we appreciate our technician yeah. taking the uh, pictures. So what you do is you click it right here and it goes off.